So let's discuss the first lecture um, and first topic for group dynamics. So this would deal with um, basically the introduction, um, nature of groups, and theoretical perspectives that tries to explain group dynamics. So ano nga ba yung group dynamics? This is actually a discipline under psychology uh, that focuses on inf um, the study of different influential actions, processes, and changes that occur within and between groups over time. So it is a scientific discipline devoted to studying groups and group processes. Although it is under psychology, some of the fields would sometimes borrow this field, borrow the concepts of group dynamics, um, like... Um, as uh, education, um, HRM, human resource management, no, and several other um, uh, what's this uh, fields that would also need no to teach their students, to teach their practitioners of handling and participating, facilitating group discussions. Ayan. So, ano ba yung mga pinag-uusapan, mga topics when we talk about group dynamics? These are some of the sample questions that we would usually ask in this field, no? Why do humans so frequently join with others in groups? No? Bakit kahit gano ka shy type ang isang tao, inevitable pa rin, meron pa rin silang hinahanap na sense of belongingness, no? At uh, therefore, um, pumapasok pa rin sila um, entering relationships, entering um, memberships, no? Of certain groups. Second, how do members coordinate their efforts and energy, no? Um, sa AC pa lang, eh, ba? AC core values natin, kasama dun yung collaboration. So, pasok na pasok din sa mga concepts ng group dynamics. Next, what factors give rise to sense of cohesion? Um, it's hard to call a group if there's no sense of like unity or unison, no? Um, walang social identity or group identity na tinatawag. So, um, last question, sample question natin is how do groups and their leaders hold sway over members? Uh, nakikita natin yan even on our government, di ba? There are majority and minority groups in our go government at makikita natin yung dynamics nila, di ba? Minsan, Kahit na minority yung isa, pinapakinggan pa rin at nai-influensyahan pa rin niya yung uh, the rest of uh, the Congress, the Senate, sana mangyari yun, no? <laughs> um, others naman talagang kita natin in every decision, no matter how how uh, big or how great the decision is, talagang majority wins lagi. So dito din natin yan makikita at ini-explain sa group dynamics. So ito yung mga nasa ano natin kanina pero i think meron na kung ano doon a typo kasi cross yun hindi naman kaw yata yung nalagay ko so let's see babalikan ko yung diagnostic quiz natin kanina ayan now to further discuss the nature of groups when we try to define what groups are groups are two or more individuals who are connected by and within social relationships so um when it comes to numbers kahit sabihin mong in quantity, dalawa lang yan, tatlo lang yan, considered pa rin yan group. So, uh, let's say, pagdating nyo ng third year, fourth year, ay mag-enroll mag kayo ng research one, and you finally decided, okay, I'm not doing my thesis solo, I would be needing a partner, that's still considered a group, no? Um, so, team effort pa rin, group effort pa rin ang kailangan. Yan. So, what are the other basic concepts? Some, so, some of the concepts that I would be introducing to you are mga synonymous, no? Um, o kaya closely related to the term groups o kaya sa konsepto ng group dynamics. So, we have dyads wherein um, specifically ito ay isang group na composed lang ng dalawang members o yung tinatawag nating partnership. Triads, three members. A large collection of people could be called mobs, crowds, congregations. Meron din tayong concept ng group relations or relationships where we see the link um, each me uh, of each member to one another and to the group as a whole. We also have the concept of networking. Bago pa natin marinig yung mga business na networking ngayon, sa uh, group dynamics, may ganun ng concept. Ang idea lang is, meron ka lang isang connection dun sa tao Regardless of the position in the network, tapos nagba-branch out siya na nagko-connect ka na na nagko-connect sa ibang tao, that's considered networking. And then we have social identity. 
These are qualities that are held in common by two or more people who recognize that they are members of the same group or social category. Um, and then when we begin to describe groups, meron tayong mga, uh, especially dun sa definition ng ginamit natin kanina, uh, I want to operationally define no, some of the terms. Yung una, interaction. Interaction supposedly should answer the question, what do people do when they are uh, on groups no, or they are with their group members? Yan. So two types would be relationship interaction and task interaction. By Friday, I'm hoping that I'll be able to finish it na. Um, tatanungin ko lang sa records kung may, ma may hahabol pa bang mag-e-enroll, no? Pero um, pag natapos ko yon by Friday, randomly, I would be dis dispersing you into groups. I would be posting it in the Google Classroom. Regardless kung naging groupmates nyo na yan, kung kaklose nyo, kung hindi, no? Um, pag declare ko magkaka-group kayo, kayo na yung magkaka-group sa buong quarter natin. Ayan. So, for example, in the groupings for group dynamics, no, um, you would have certain tasks, no, for the class. Um, but beyond the task, uh, Basha would text her groupmates, oy, oy, napanad niyo na ba yung um, Netflix uh, series na to, ganyan. O kaya, Isa would say, oy, ano, ang ganda ng song na to, pakinggan nyo. That's beyond the assignments or seat works or projects that you need to pass to me, no? So, yung ganong interaction within the group, pinag-usapan nyo, pinag-chismesan nyo, hindi na yun konsepto ng task interaction. That's more on relationship building. Hence, it is considered under relationship interaction. This pertains to how you deal with your group members, ano yung interpersonal skills nyo when you deal with them, yung social side, no? Nung uh, relationship mo, with your group members. Pero kapag mainly ang focus ng usapan nyo ay, oy, napasa mo na ba to? Paano ba to mas may improve Pwede bang palitan mo yung slide na to? And it's more task-oriented. It is obviously under task interaction. Um, and then we also have the concept of goals. No, In describing a group, we should know that um, groups exist for a reason. And sometimes the reason would uh, being would be your objective or yung tinatawag nating goals. Groups make it easier to attain certain go uh, a certain goal, kaya nabubuo no, yung, um, yung affiliation. So when we talk about the circumflex uh, model of group tasks, paano ba tayo namimili ng goals at ng objective? Four steps daw yan. We generate, we choose, we negotiate, and then we execute. We first generate and identify all possible goals. Ta 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 lista lista lista. No, we generate it. No, and then we begin to choose. Ikaw mo na personally api ah, hindi ko to. Eto pwede kaya ako sumal sa grupo na to. Eh, kasi gusto ko maattain to. Eto eto eto. And then you negotiate with your group members. Eto rin ba sa yon? Anong pamapagkakasunduan natin na na goal? No, and then eventually if you end up okay uh, with a set of goals, no, and you begin to apply. No ways on how to reach that particular goal, you are actually executing yung pang -apa. Ayan. Next is the concept of interdependence. Interdependence, simply put, is the um, uh, dependence of um, different independent people within the group. No, So, um, I would always love to ano, imagine yung tinatawag natin interdependence. Sometimes a person starts to be having a dependent personality talaga, yung talagang medyo nakikiride on sa iba, ganyan, medyo dependent talaga. Pero I am um, excited for people who would mature within the group na they started dependent. Tapos later on, habang nandun sila sa group, mas nagmature sila. Tapos naging independent sila. But they know still that they need the group. And the group needs them. Needs them as well, no? So, yun yung konsepto ng interdependence. Yung klase natin, isang grupo tayo. No? I'm an independent um, a person. Uh, I'm the professor. But I know that I need someone to teach. Kailangan ko pa rin ng studyante. No? Um, independent si uh, Leah, no? Um, especially, um, I've known Leah for the longest time and I've known her as talagang very self-directed siya when it comes to studying, matataas ang grades niya. 
she is independent. Um, and especially with the online setting that we have now, diba? you are encouraged to really go out of your box and learn as much as possible. But um, she still needs me to teach her some things, no? a thing or two. Yeah, no? So um, kahit na independent kami, we still depend on each other and we still have that great connection because meron pa rin kaming goal na kailangan i-reach as we are both in this group, this class, no? So that's what we call interdependence. Um, I always love imagining it kasi parang nag-uwi of yung lives ng mga tao within the group when you imagine yung interdependence na pinag-uusapan. And then the concept of structure. Structure is the underlying patterns of roles, norms, relations among members that organizes the group. Minsan very bureaucratic. Yung meron ka talagang org chart, meron ka talagang organizational structure. Pero may mga groups naman na hindi masyadong structured, no? Yung barkadahan, di ba? Hindi naman, hindi naman necessarily structured yun. Pero pag tinignan mo, meron pa rin silang norms. Meron pa rin kayong mga certain expressions na kayo-kayo lang magkakabarkada, nagkakaintindihan. Meron pa rin kayong mga special connection na sa level nyo lang no uh, magigets at yung iba medyo out of place sila if you're not in the barkada no and then the concept of unity there should be that sense of holistic or unified whole when you are in a group so there are different types of groups and as we go um uh, go on with the fourth quarter you would realize na kung bakit nga may mga ganitong types pa no so number one meron tayong tinatawag na primary groups primary groups are small and yet, uh, small compared to the others, but um, it's a long-term type of group. It could include um, our families, very organic, no? Yung parang hindi mo kailangan ipilit. Eh, pinanganak ka nang nandun sa family, no? Friendship, cliques. Um, kaya lang, um, you just have to bear with me kasi by definition, sa books natin, meron dito, characterized by face-to-face -face interaction. But it doesn't apply to us right now, no? Because of the pandemic, Medyo kahit na kapamilya natin minsan, basta magkaibang bahay, di ba? Medyo gusto natin stay at home muna at virtual muna lahat. Uh, it could also be characterized by solidarity and high levels of member-to-group interdependence and identification. And then we have social groups. Social groups are relatively small number of individuals who interact with one another over an extended period of time such as work groups, clubs, organizations, congregations. By the way, congratulations to those who intend to run for ASC. I've seen some of you, um, some of your faces and names, no? Doon sa uh, meeting namin kanina sa faculty, no? So, uh, praying for all of you, even for those who would vote, no? So, yung mga organizations like ASC, PSA, mga ganyan, and different congregations can also be considered under social group. And then we have collectives, no? A relatively large aggregation or group of individuals who display similarities in actions and outlook. And then we have categories, an aggregation of people that share a common attribute or are related or are related in some ways. Now, let's study groups. Paano nga ba um, kumukuha ng data kapag uh, sa loob ng grupo ang pinag-uusapan natin? Kung ang research natin is um, it has to do with groups or members, no? Um, how do we really measure, no? Um, yung mga variables na gusto nating i-measure. Number one, it could be observation, through observation. Basic concepts under observation is the covert and overt behavior. You basically heard this from me, no? Yung covert would be something hidden na kailangan mo pang i-probe, kailangan pa ng keen observation talaga para magets mo kung ano yung um, covert uh, behavior nila. Overt observation, as I do hand gestures and talk now. This is these are my overt behavior. So you basically can just look or listen at uh, listen to me and observe, no? Um, and then we have participant observation, wherein in their naturalistic setting, you are you do observe the members and the group itself, no? And then sa experimental psychology, 
and um, psych assessment later on, even in IO, you would come across the concept of Hawthorne effect. Para sa, na, medyo nakalimutan na, kahit na nasa XP mode pa, no? Yung Hawthorne effect is yung um, how people would uh, be different in terms of how they would react or respond because just because they know they are being observed. No? So yun yung Hawthorne effect na tinatawag. And then, we sometimes could also measure um, uh, behavior in groups using self-report measures. Concepts like sociometry, sociogram, letting them answer survey, letting them um, just, uh, you know, answer psychological test na self-report, no, yung sila sa mismo mag-identify at sasagot, could also be a possibility. Now, given those um, measurements, no, ano naman yung mga applicable um, and suggestible na research methodologies in group dynamics? Tatlo po, you can do case studies, you can do experimental studies, and correlational studies. Alam nyo naman na yung last two, pero para sa mga hindi pa familiar sa case study, bakit siya gagamitin sa group dynamics? Kasi minsan, ang gusto natin, yung cases natin, kahit isa, dalawa, tatlong cases lang yan, um, galing sa isang group. Kunwari, I would want to um, uh, learn about the... the traumatic experiences of sexually abused women who are all coming from uh, Haven Institute. May isang institute sa South, I think. Haven, Haven something. Haven Angels yata, parang ganun yung tawag. Gusto ko lahat ng participants ko galing sa group lang na yun, no? So kahit na medyo individualistic yung at in-depth yung case study, dahil sa konsepto na um, gusto mong kunin yung kanilang context or yung kanilang environment. Therefore, pasok pa rin siya sa group dynamics. Ayan. And then last part of our discussion would be the theoretical perspectives used in group dynamics. So these are the perspectives used, no? Motivational and emotional, behavioral, systems theory, cognitive, and biological perspectives. So ito yung mga outlook no yung mga perspectives na ginagamit natin in explaining group dynamic concepts theories no and so each of the perspectives i would try to discuss in general um pero habang dinidiscuss natin yung mga topics natin sa buong fourth quarter you would learn kung ano yung mga concepts theories under um these perspectives so una sabi ng motivational and emotional perspectives um, because of um, groups daw, makikita natin na um, people go in groups because of their motivation, because of a certain need, a certain want, a certain desire, no? Um, and they're pushed to be in groups because some uh, at a certain point, their affective side is also, well, influenced, no? Um, affective side, which means the emotion, yung subjective state, like others would feel they get um, favorable approval, hence um, feeling ple uh, pleasurable or positive emotions whenever they were they are in groups, no? So, dito yan papasok. Motivation, uh, as per uh, its... Uh, Etymological definition is coming from the word movere, which means to move, to push you, no? So, ano ba yung nagpo-push sa atin na mapunta sa mga grupo, maging affiliated sa ibang tao, no? Um, a certain theory under this perspective is called the theory of group, uh, group affective tone, no? This posits that groups over time develop that tendency to display a collective mood states. No, kunwari, yung uh, nakikita natin sa social media, no, yung mga DDS, dilawan, feminist, mga nag nagka-cancel culture, mga ganyan, kung ano man yung mga nakikita yung groups, may mga advocacy yan, tapos minsan yung mga malalam tong Tagalog, yung mga pighati nila, yung mga sorrow nila tungkol dun sa mga advocacies nila, sa mga issues, no? Yung um, yung collective effort nila, minsan yung exhaustion, no? Sabay-sabay nilang nararamdaman. Yung frustration sa mga issues, sabay-sabay nilang na-feel, na no? Be just because they adapt the thoughts, 
the interactions linger. No? Tapos nagiging unison pati yung kanilang na-feel. Ayan. And then we have the by, uh, behavioral perspectives. Some people uh, go in groups, form groups, become affiliated in groups because of stimulus response association and reinforcement. Take for example, um, nakita nyo ngayon, um, nakikita natin din ngayon sa social media yung mga issues on BLM. Black Lives Matter, di ba? Tapos yung mga ibang opposing sa Black Lives, sabihin nila, bakit Black Lives Matter eh all lives naman? Bakit black lang? May mga ganun, di ba? May mga ganun taong mag-isip. Pero those people who advocate groups that would advocate BLM, hala, sige talagang um, they go and um, talagang uh, fight their pursuit. No? Tapos ngayon, after COVID, tumaas yung discrimination sa mga Asians, especially in the US. Kaya merong hashtag stop Asian hate, no? Um, and then Asian lives matter, no? Um, and these people are coming from different Asian communities, Korean, Japanese, Filipinos, Thai, etc., etc., no? And you would see them. I I even saw, ano, um, Sarah O, oh, de ba? Uh, sumama dun sa, dun sa, ano nila, sa movement nila, no? Um, and why would they do that? Bakit sila pumunta dun? Because, they see na nga people, um, Asians being um, disrespected. They see Asians um, being maltreated, di ba? And um, uh, these, these are forms of punishment, no? And uh, uh, a reinforcement for them, no? Kaya sabi nila, kung sama-sama tayo, kailangan um, pag-igihan natin tong advocacies natin. Kasi we want to be uh, heard. Um, so that people would know we matter too. Hindi porket Asians tayo, sa atin na agad nang galing yung COVID or tayo na yung dapat sisihin, no? So behaviorism. Under behavioral perspective, we also have the theory, social exchange theory. If you're done with your social psych class, usually ako yung nag, nag, ano nun, nagtuturo nun, no? If you're done with your social psych class, you've heard me talk about this theory. Pag sinabi natin social exchange theory, some people daw, go in relationship, in a relationship, or go and affiliate um, in groups, join groups, because um, they want to uh, have rewards. Hindi naman to user-friendly lang lagi na masama na tipong ginagamit mo lang yung grupo or yung, yung membership na meron ka. No. Kasi ang concept dyan, exchange. Ibig sabihin, there has to be a give and take. When a person enters a relationship, which is a diet, which means it's also a group. When a person enters a group, regardless how big or how small, no, meron at meron siyang i-invest para hindi tayo tanungin anong ambag natin, di ba? Okay, pero kidding aside, meron kang i-ambag, meron kang i-contribute, di ba? But of course, no matter how pure your heart is, you know that you're also getting something from the group. Meron ka pa rin nare-receive from the group, right? Um, and um, social exchange theory also um, uh, seeks yung, uh, yung idea of how to balance about what you're getting from what you're receiving and vice versa. So it's, it's really, it really is a give and take huh? according to this theory. Under systems theory perspective naman, Yung isang theory natin, systems theory. This is actually a general theoretical approach which assumes that groups are systems. It's a collection of individual units that combine to form an integrated yet a complex whole. Kunwari, yung pamilya. No? Hindi naman yan tipong nanay, tatay, anak. Hindi lang naman ganun eh. Pero ang daming dynamics. No? Ang, uh, it's, it's really a system. Um, you know how you go and visit your friend's house, um, mag-overnight ka sa, syempre hindi ngayon, no? mag-overnight ka sa bahay ng kaibigan mo, and you would see how they, ano, interact. Iba yung sistema nila para minsan, ah, hindi pwede sa amin to, hindi nag-oopo, hindi nagpo-po. Pero sa kanila pwede, permissible, because it's their system, no? So it's a complex system, and yet it's so integrated. No, um, uh, Yung ano pa lang, how the parents would interact with the eldest, with the middle child, with the bunso, and so on and so forth. Paano pa kung iba pa yung dynamics kasi meron kang pinapatira sa bahay, etc. So integrated siya pero complex pa din siya at the same time. So yan yung inaaral at ini-explain ng 
systems theory. Another theory under the systems theory perspective is the IPO model, which states that when you assume a group, when you are in a group, you give an input, you negotiate within the group kung anong mapag-uusapan nyo, and when you finalize everything, regardless of what you are talking about, regardless of what you're deciding, when you fin finally um, have the, the, the product, that's your group output. No? So, yan yung IPO. Yan, IPO model. Under the cognitive perspective naman, syempre, pin, uh, inaaral natin dito, when it comes to group dynamics, papasok sa uh, cognitive perspectives, lahat ng concept that explains group, group processes that needs higher mental processes. Like, how do you decide in group? How do you do problem solving? Uh... Are there discrimination? How do you label people? Assign tasks to people, etc. Mental processes yon. Under yon ang cognitive perspective because these are considered cognitive processes, no? Um, and one theory under this perspective is the self-categorization theory. This explains na. Um, I was telling the the class my my ano my group die class earlier. Imagine a desktop, no? Ewan ko kung ano yung itsura ng desktop niyo. Ng itsura ng desktop niyo. Uh, akin kasi kapag um uh, binuksan yung desktop ko, dalawang folder, no? Merong pat na folder tas may may folder na this week. Nilalagay ko dun sa folder na this week lahat ng gagamitin ko for this week. Ayan. Pag natapos ko na siya, i-delete ko na doon. Para alam ko, para hindi ako hanap-hanap-hanap. So, baka maging helpful yun sa inyo, no? Dun sa pat na folder, pag clinic mo, several folders. AC, FEU, sa church namin, yung personal ko, etc., etc. Pag clinic mo yung AC, subjects. Pag clinic mo yung subjects, Dami-dami, group dahil sa lahat ng tinuturo ko. Tapos mag-clinic mo yun, bawat ano, may folder pa na. If it's PowerPoint, PDF, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. It, that's how I work, no? And basically, parang it's, a, it's an analogy of self-categorization. It's under group process kasi ganun tayo eh. Parang nagkakategorize tayo, nagko-compartmentalize tayo sa isip natin when we are in groups. Um, iba ka kapag nasa ganitong group, iba ka kapag nasa ganitong group. You're different when you're with your high school friends as compared to how you are with your college friends and how you are with your families, no? Sabi ko nga sa earlier class, yung mga, it's not kaplastikan, it's not uh, also having multiple personalities, no? But it's just because iba kasi yung dynamics nyo, no? Sa iba't ibang setting, no? Uh, minsan, and I hope hindi kayo ito, no? Pero minsan may mga students ako, Pagkasama yung family, yung parents, talagang hindi nagsasabi ng bad words. But when they are with their friends, no, um, automatic, parang punctuation ang mga ano, bad words. No? Sana hindi kayo yon, no? Um, And sometimes your um, high school friends would see you uh, in a different light compared when you are in college, di ba? Kasi ni-reinvent mo na yung sarili mo pagdating ng college. Ganun din kapag nag-work kayo, I'm hoping na iba din kayo kasi syempre mas may professionalism naman no, pag nasa workplace. So that's self-categorization theory. And then last slide natin is dealing with biological perspective. Under this, we discuss evolutionary psychology. Biological perspective, which means it has to ex uh, explain um, yung, um, yung mga concepts natin in a group of, by um, identifying mga concepts ng physiology, no? which would lead us to the evolution theory of, of Charles Darwin. No? Um, so, anong sinasabi natin dito? Dito sinasabi natin na we evolve. No? Um, uh, we go in groups because sometimes it helps us survive. No, you sometimes go in groups kasi, oy kailangan, may, gusto ko naman for my sanity, meron akong org pag college para hindi naman aral, aral, aral. So it helped you survive. It is a survival of the fittest, di ba? Sabi ng evolutionary psychology, no? So, um, yun yung concepto behind um, having uh, uh, theories, concepts under this perspective na basically, um, for our survival, for our uh, maturity, we adopt 
uh, that's why we go in different groups and affiliate with different people. So that's the biological perspective. And that ends our introduction to group dynamics.